on the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. So our last ditch effort is to do the crankshaft sensor, crankshaft position sensor. It's where the engine and the transmission meet, I think. It'll work. It will? Yep. Yay! So the van just started just fine with the new part in. It is the crankshaft position sensor. I had to go with a 93 part, or a 1990. So we had to go with a 1994 part because it had a longer cord on it. <gasps> wow, I, what do you know? It was the crankshaft sensor. Wow. Oh my God. All the things we had to replace, it was just that. I want to do it again. Yay. Sounds beautiful now. Yay for our team. Yay. One less worry. One less. Now we just got the whistling windshield. <laughs> the, uh, the bad shifting. The, bad, the transmission and uh, what else we got? Everything else seems to be good so far. Yeah. Oh, there's a little misfire. A little bit. Not too bad though. It's not doing it now. So maybe just one more minute. Just got to. I'll let's also let it sit for like a couple minutes and then start it up again. It's a Monday. So today um, dad had time to help me fix my van. I also was planning on leaving yesterday but now I'm leaving today, possibly. And the van is running right now. We did the test drive thing. I let it sit for like five minutes and I started it up. It's started up like three times just fine since then and the last piece that I just replaced was the map sensor. I don't, it's, um, you know, I just wrote down a list of everything that I've replaced this year. The radiator, the, um, and then I got the oil change at the same time, then we did the coolant temp sensor, and then after that, uh, did the throttle position sensor, wire harness, and then did the idle air control valve, and put in a new battery and an oil change yesterday and today we've put in the crankshaft, crankshaft position sensor and the map sensor. This is definitely adding up. Um, some people have been helping me out with the cost but it is just freaking not as fun as having Sherry work. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit better about this last part we just put in. After the crankshaft position sensor, Sherry did not want to start and I couldn't even trick it into starting again. Did a little bit more research, Dad watched a video that I had watched last week and I had didn't pull the trigger on getting that part, but we went and got that part just now, put it in and Sherry is running and it's not, the idle isn't going up and down and up and down like it was before. so. It's running better. All these sensors that I'm replacing are making it run smoother. First 48 hours, if it can get through, you know, tomorrow and I've driven it a bunch and it starts up every time, I will feel satisfied. At this point, it has given me so many false, um, I don't know what they call them, but it's blowing smoke pretty much at me um, thinking that it's fixed and then it's not. We're gonna cross our fingers that this is the last one. Also running out of a quite a bit of time to do any other big things. I am putting in some transmission fluid. It wasn't super low but it was definitely wanting me to add some. We are at the gas station getting ready to head out on our road trip. It's only 5.45, rush hour traffic, but we'll get somewhere today. Here's all my friggin' snacks. It's like Snacktopia in here. On the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. In my van again. Alright guys, let the rush hour traffic commence. 
Welcome to Oregon! It's pretty darn late uh, right now and, well not really late. We made it to Burns, Oregon and our kind of goal was to get to Bend but we won't get to Bend till 11 p.m. So I'm gonna find a camp spot for our mom and I here, near here, and then we'll mosey on in the morning. We're at the Safeway. So we're gonna go use that bathroom. Oh my gosh, that was magic! My van started! Mom has successfully draped a sheet all over the inside of the truck. How's your fortress? Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. So Mom and I had our morning coffee and now we're gonna get ready to hit the road again. Oregon, can't pump your own gas. Forgot again. I'm gonna see how my van starts up. Then it does not want to start up. Yay. You get gas? Yeah. Show you put gas in it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's full. It doesn't okay. want to start. What's going on? Um, it might be a minute before I can move again. It doesn't want to start right now. Hold your foot and hold the hold each other all the way to the floor while you're cranking it. Okay. That'll empty all the gas out of the carburetor. And it should allow it to start. Almost. Almost. There we go. There we got Whenever it. Whenever that happens, hold the accelerator all the way to the floor and start and keep cranking it. Okay. Because what that does, it'll force all the gas out of the carburetor. Okay. And then it'll, it'll, then it'll start. Okay. It's just getting flooded, is all. Okay. Cool. We have stopped in the little town of Sisters right outside of Bend, and it's freaking cute. It looks super new. Um, it's got old western styled buildings, but a lot of cute little shops. Look at these! Oh, they're cute! Oh gosh, here you go. <gasps> Except I don't have a trailer. No. Look, there's this one over here, Mom. That one. Oh! Harley, <laughs> here you are! <laughs> But it's funny. So we got you and, and you and me both in a pot. Yeah, that's similar to your camper. Yeah, in a pot. Is. They put us in a pot, Mom. We did. These are like steampunk metal rusted artistic These things. These are amazing. They're cool. That one's cool. It's got red jewels hanging from it. <gasps> the carriage is so pretty. And there's a swing. Oh, and there's a chariot too. That is so cool. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I could be a Roman soldier. You could be. Or Egyptian. Or American. Because it's got the eagle. Got the eagle. Fire pit. That's cool. That's yeah, really cool. We're in Newport, made it to the ocean. Trying to find some parking. Bridge is beautiful. Hi. I have a red dot on my forehead. <laughs> you do. <laughs> We made it to the beach. We're beach combers. We're beach combers, except for they won't let us down to the beach. No, so we're <laughs> asphalt combers. <laughs> we get to go down this trail to the beach. I'm so surprised that we're the only ones here. It's cold. No, it's not. It's not cold. Ooh, okay, I have to take my shoes off. Yeah, we're on the beach. We're <laughs> it's illegal to wear shoes on the beach. It is, it's illegal. Squishy, squishy, squishy. Look at the sand dunes. 
This is nice. Hello, Atlantic Ocean. I mean, Pacific Ocean. <laughs> Hi, Ocean. I send her to <laughs> bit chilly. It's so flat out here. Look at mom. This is like a little channel of water that we're gonna walk through. Ah, ah, cold! Ah, 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 mom, mom, it's cold. It's cold. It's really cold. We're going for little bugs, I think. Mom is uh, combing the beach. Good morning. We have been parked at this rest stop tonight. I guess online someone said it's considered a DOT rest stop, but it's also just a, a viewpoint. I think we're at Boiler Bay. Let's seagulls. A few of them landed on my van this morning <laughs> and uh, introduced themselves. We made it to Seaside. Hello! Hi! Looking at all the pretty houses. The aquarium. Oh my gosh! I'm right here. Can you see me? Can you see me? Here is a giant whale. It's only 36 feet. Propane tank finally ran out the last time I, well I got it back in November. So it is now May and it ran out last night. So I'm gonna get it exchanged. I got my tank refilled and it was $11. So it was cheaper to fill it up than to exchange it. And it was like 4.3 gallons of propane that went into this to fill it up. So I'm gonna secure it and head down the road. We're gonna go on this big bridge over, I think, the Columbia River. Made it to Washington, woo -hoo! Hey guys, I wanted to show you my new design. It's Baby Wiping Hobo. And if you don't understand what that means, out on the road we don't shower very often and so we nicknamed ourselves baby wiping hobos since we use baby wipes a lot of the time to get the job done and I thought it was hilarious and I wanted to put it on an enamel mug of all things so this is the normal size enamel mug that you would find in the store it only comes in white with the black logo but There'll be a link down in the description below for you to check it out and order it if you'd like. There will be also other items with this same logo on it if you like it on a shirt or on a bag or something else. You can check that out. I'll be making more designs soon, but this is what I've got for now. There's also cabbage and eggs, and I put it on an apron, so I thought that was pretty fitting. But it's over on Spreadshirt.com if you'd like to order anything from my Spreadshirt store. 